My dear viewer, welcome again today to uh, the series on the day uh, 40 days of prayer. And we are on day 13 when we are beginning a brief, uh, you know, um, sub series of uh, word where we'll be looking at the power of word in the next few days. And, and today, being day 13 of our series, we are introducing the power, the ministry, and the miracles of the word of God. I want to invite you to be part of this today. We uh, apologize because yesterday we were not able to bring you this program because of so many inconveniences, but we are glad that we are back today uh, to have you and give you the privilege of being together with the Lord in these 40 days of prayer. I want to invite you as you start that we can say a brief prayer and then I'm going to read the text that is going to be uh, our meditation as we pray uh, for this particular day. Let's together join in prayer. Gracious Father in heaven, thank you for this precious day and moment when we are at your feet. We thank you and we pray as we begin this program, Lord, that you shall be with us. Bless us, bless my viewer, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. I'll take you quickly to the book of Mark chapter 5, rather chapter 4, a very interesting story. Of course, you can find it in the book of Matthew chapter 8, the story of where Jesus you know, uh, calmed the storms. And uh, in Mark account, in chapter 4, beginning of uh, verse number 35, the Bible says, And the same day when the even was come, he said unto them, Let us pass over unto the other side. And when they had sent away the multitude, they took him even as he was in the ship. And there were also with him other little ships. There arose a great storm of wind, and the waves beat into the ship, so that it was now full. And he was in the hinder part of the ship, asleep on a pillar. And they awakened him, and said unto him, Master, carest thou, not that we perish. And he arose, and rebuked the wind, and said unto the sea, Peace, be still. And the wind ceased, and there was great calm. Very interesting, we have listened to this text so many times, uh, speaking about peace, be still, but we have not laid emphasis on what made the, the sea to be still. Of course, you know, this is Jesus who has power, but I want you today to appreciate what Jesus used to still the sea. He did not strike the sea. You know, we remember the stories in the Old Testament when the Moses was passing through uh, with the children of Israel, that great sea. And, uh, you know, they couldn't be able to get into the water and through to the other side of the sea. And they didn't know how. But God instructed Moses to strike the sea. We also remember the story of, of, of River Jordan, Joshua, uh, and, and, and stepping into those waters that were raging and then the, the, the river part into two. You know, they are, they are, the, the, Jesus would have taken a stick and struck the water, and the water would have been calm, or he would have stepped into the water. But then he chose to speak to the water. He chose to speak to the waves. He chose to speak to the storms. He chose to speak to the troubled waters. So the word of Jesus was the means by which the storms were calmed. And so we are appreciating the power of the word of God. You see, of course, we can go into the exposition of the power of the word of God into the Bible, or from the Bible, and we appreciate it, especially in the book of John, where it says, in the beginning was the word, and the one was with God, and the one was God, you know? That Jesus, in the beginning, he was God. So because we appreciate in that particular text of the book of John that the word is Jesus. And so we are interacting with the word of God. But also we know right in the book of Genesis, when God came to create, he spoke and the things came to be. He spoke and everything was formed. He spoke and everything was ordered the way we see things today. So there is power in the word of God. Of course, this morning or this afternoon, this evening, from wherever you are, I am reminding you that there is power 
in the spoken word of God. Well, there is power in the word of God, the Bible. And there is power in what God speaks to you or about you. And so, as we go to prayer, the question is, what is the storm in your life? What method are you using to calm, to silence the storms in your life? So many of us, when we are under storms, we look for various ways. Some of us will run to our friends, others will run to our relatives, others will go even out to seek for mediums and uh, witchcraft and all the powers of darkness just to, to get help from the challenge we are going through. Um, um, some of other people, they feel so much overwhelmed, even they commit suicide, they determine their lives because they don't know how the storm in their life can be silenced. But Mark is reminding us here that there is power in the spoken word of God. When God speaks to you, when God speaks about you, there is power. There is power. You see, Jesus is interested in making you to understand that you are safe in his hands. You are safe in his hands. That you can trust him. You can go before him. Tell him what you're feeling. Tell him wh where you're hurting from. And listen to him. Listen as he speaks to you. Listen as he speaks about your case. The Bible says here, and Jesus woke from sleep, and he said, peace be still, and the wind ceased. The storms were silenced. And I am praying that this morning, this afternoon, this evening, wherever you are, that may the storms of your pain be silenced. May the storms of your struggles be silenced. May storms of conflict in your life be silenced. By Jesus speaking peace in your life. By Jesus speaking hope in your life. By Jesus speaking breakthroughs in your life. By Jesus speaking success and victories in your life. And this, our prayer, is a time when you not only need to speak to Jesus, but you ought to listen when Jesus is speaking to you. So possession yourself. Create an environment where you can dialogue with Jesus. You can listen to him as he speaks to you. And you shall hear him for sure saying, peace be still. Is there anything too difficult for the Lord? I say no. There's nothing too difficult for him. He can say, peace be still, and the storms in your life can cease. So as we pray, don't be fearful because of what you're going through. Don't be fearful because of what you are experiencing today. Don't be fearful because of what you expect is going to happen in your life. But only trust that Jesus is with you even in silence. He's still with you. Uh, speak, cry out to him and you shall hear him say, My child, my daughter, my son, peace be still. And so come along with me as you pray. Wherever you are, you could be at your workplace, you could be at home, you could be driving in your car, you could be anywhere in the market, anywhere you are, and you're getting this message today. We are talking about the power of the word of God. The power of the spoken word of God. And of course, we know the entire scripture. This is the word of God, spoken by God himself, inspiring people to speak and to write. This is where we find hope and solace in the troubled moments. And so I want to invite you that you will be at peace with the Lord even as we pray. This journey of 40 days of prayer shall be a blessing to you, to your family, and to people around you. Let's pray together. Our gracious Father in heaven, we thank you so much for the privilege of this fellowship. We thank you for the opportunity of the 40 days of prayer. 
Lord, we thank you today that you are reminding us that there is power in your word, power in the spoken word. Disciples struggled the way we struggle, employing earthly and human methods to sort and to solve a spiritual crisis, forgetting that indeed it is only you who can give us solution for such kind of challenges. It seemed you were asleep and were giving up, but yet when they cried out and you woke from your sleep, you came, you spoke, and your word came to pass that indeed the storms were silenced, and there was peace in the sea, and everyone was overwhelmed and asked, who is like this man? And today, Lord, I know that we are going through various storms in our lives, various conflicts and afflictions, pain, distress, and depressions. There is only one way we can have peace, when we shall learn how to listen to you. But then, Lord, we find in the text that it is until they cried out to you that you rose and said, peace be still. And in this hour, we are crying out to you, my Father, and we are waiting to hear you say, peace be still in that marriage. Peace be still in that career. Peace be still in that home. Peace be still in that health. Peace be still in our lives. And indeed, because there is power in your spoken word, we shall receive miracles of healing and breakthroughs, peace and love and reconciliation because Jesus just spoke blessings upon our lives. This moment, Lord, we thank you. We pray that we can continue strengthening our faith and assuring us that every moment we spend with you, whatever few minutes it may be, it is never in vain. This moment, Lord, I know indeed it's not in vain that you are blessing us. Give us faith to wait upon you every day, but more importantly, to listen as you speak to us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Don't forget that we are still praying for seven member list. I hope you have already your list. If you have not, Got in a list, please just think about seven people that you want to be praying for. I mean, you can even pray for more than seven. But then in this experience of 40 days of prayer, we are also interceding and carrying along our family members, our friends, and those who that we know they need interventions. We are presenting them before the Lord every day. Please continue praying for them. Let you also be one of the people to bless many other people by sharing this particular message that we're giving you every day. If you have not subscribed to our you know, YouTube channel, please, we invite you to subscribe, that even after this, you continue receiving notifications whenever we have wonderful programs like this one. Share and share with as many people as you can. Let's meet you. God bless you.